without much ado, Alan Stein. As basketball players, even as very young basketball players, makes up the foundation of your entire game. If you guys can picture a pyramid, the wider and broader and more sturdy you can make that foundation, the higher the potential peak, which is why the best players in the world are in the best shape and can move really, really well. See, if you guys can get just a little bit quicker, a little bit faster, a little bit stronger, you can improve your hand-eye coordination and your mobility and your reaction and get in great basketball shape, you can perform the skills of the game, shooting, passing, rebounding, defending, and ball handling, you can perform the skills of the game at a much higher level. You can perform the skills of the game for longer before fatigue sets in, and you can perform the skills of the game with more efficiency, which again, is why the best players in the world are in the best shape and move really, really well. You can raise the ball above your head, Killing it, loving it, thankful to be here. Appreciate you, Capital Hoops, represent. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, knock down your J-ball. I always want you guys to have ownership of every drill. So when you get back to shoot your jump shot, you can do whatever footwork you want. You can step in and shoot this way. You can do a reverse pivot and shoot this way. You can imagine that you're Chris Paul, you're doing a crab dribble and shoot this way. Whatever you want, as long as you end with some type of deceleration, some type of jump shot, but I always want you guys to be creative and use your imagination. The more different foot patterns you can use, the better. The better. All right, watch these two guys. Defensive slide. Defensive slide. Yep. Power step. Yep. Whenever you're ready. Ready. Yep. Yep. Boy, that's great. That is textbook. Step in, shoot that shot. Step in, shoot that shot. Now we're gonna play a game of chase, a game of tag. The only rule is you cannot go inside the circle. So obviously, if Daniel starts running in that direction, it's in Randy's best interest to go this way, but I know he would have figured that out. But Daniel doesn't have to keep running in the same direction. You can change direction, you can fake, do whatever you want. You just cannot go in the circle. The drill is only going to last for 12 seconds. So I'm gonna say go, 
Your only goal in life is to tag him. Your only goal in life is to not get tagged. I will count to 12. If you don't get, to, if you don't tag him in 12 seconds, the drill is over. Does everyone just watch these two? You both understand, right? Go! 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and time, time, good job. Bring it right back, hang on. That I can hear right now. I can hear these guys breathing heavy, and I could probably hear their heart pounding against their chest. This is as good of a basketball conditioning drill as you will ever find because it's reactive, it causes them to change direction, they start and stop, they use crossover steps, they sprint, they slide, and it will get you in unbelievable basketball shape. If someone told you that the best way to get in shape for next basketball season is to jog three miles around your neighborhood, they either lie to you or they don't know what they're talking about because that is not how you get in basketball shape. This is how you get in basketball shape. Now I'll ask you guys, imagine that you do a set of 20 of those. 10 times you chase Randy, 10 times Randy chases you. You rest 30 seconds in between each and you do that three days a week for the eight weeks leading up to the season. Do you think you'd be in good basketball shape? You would be in unbelievable basketball shape because they're, if, Daniel and I are of the exact same speed, the exact same quickness, but he can react 0.2 seconds faster than me. He gets to the spot first every time. He gets to the ball first every time. If Daniel is quicker than I am, faster than I am, but I can react 0.2 seconds faster than he can, it will negate some of that athleticism. So if you happen to find yourself not being the quickest guy on the court when you play, improving your ability to react will help negate some of that athleticism that you were not born with. Once the ball drops and he reacts, he's going to put his pedal to the metal in his Ferrari, and he's going to accelerate as fast as he can towards the ball. Number five, he's going to use his hand-eye coordination to actually catch the ball. Eyes are what make layups, eyes are what finish passes. Never, ever take your eyes off the ball or take your eyes off the target. And then lastly, when he catches it, he has to decelerate. He has to put the brakes on. Because in a game, if you catch the ball and you take a couple extra steps, it's trap. Quick hands to do it. Yep, that was it. Just wrap it up. Awesome. He makes it look easy. This is really tough. Good job. Good job. Put up videos of what I do at DeMatha. Put up videos of what I do when I go to games like the Jordan Classic. My friend Mark works with Capital Hoops. He's going to be adding a lot of the footage that we did uh, to his channel and to his site as well.